Hello everyone, let's continue my hospital experience. Last time I left off after my first night of vomiting. Well the morning finally came and I was more sore than I'd ever been in my entire life. My arms, my legs, everything like that. I, I couldn't even imagine it. I was told that this was completely normal and it was because of the odd positions that they had to put me in while I was having my surgery. I was so sore and so weak that to sit cross-legged on my hospital bed I actually had to lift my legs up with my arms so I could sit that way. Around mid-morning they came in to get me and wheeled me off for my barium swallow to figure out what was going on. For those who don't know what a barium swallow is, you get this wonderful stuff called barium, which looks like yogurt, vanilla yogurt. It does not taste like vanilla yogurt, it has about the same consistency. Anyways, you drink it, and you stand in front of this x-ray style machine that is seeing how the barium moves through your body, see if it's going through, things like that. That's the idea of the barium swallow. So I'm standing there, tired, weak. <sighs> so, I take a little sip. I stand there, about five minutes. The machine's moving around, they're looking at it, etc., etc. They tell me to take another sip. Take another sip, the machine's moving around, they're looking to see if things are moving, they're not quite sure. And now they tell me to take another sip. So I take another sip. And five minutes later, things go around, looking around. They say, let's give it five more minutes. Okay, five more minutes. They keep looking, five more minutes. So now I've been standing there for 20 minutes. They say, take one more sip. We're going to look at it one more time. I take one more sip. Ten minutes later, they say, the test is done. By this time, I am beat, exhausted, and I am just ready to be done. So I get wheeled back to my room. Sure enough. Within about five minutes, I am over my sink, vomiting, vomiting, vomiting. And let me tell you, this stuff does not taste good going down. It tastes even worse coming back up. I just vomited so much, it wasn't even funny. About 10, 15 minutes later, after I was done vomiting, the nurse came in and told me the results. Well, nothing was getting through. What had happened was, underneath where they put the band, so let's say this is my stomach and they put the band around it, there we go, they put the band around it, the band had closed off and kept closing and kept closing and boom, nothing can get through. The band didn't keep closing, my stomach tissue underneath swole shut. So. At this point, I asked, is there anything they can do? So off the nurse went to call the surgeon. About an hour later, it's now mid-afternoon, the nurse comes back and tells me, I got, basically, I get to sit and wait to see if the swelling goes down, and if it doesn't, I will have to have my band removed. Great. So now it's mid-afternoon. I'm pissy, I'm angry, I'm second-guessing myself, I'm all kinds of emotions that just are all off the wall. My wife comes and visits me for several hours and I'm sure I was a complete asshole even though she was very nice to me. She's a great woman, love her very much, she's been very supportive through all this. <sighs> I was off my anxiety drugs and I have severe panic disorder. So that was not good, because all my anxiety drugs are oral. So I only got Ativan, as I explained earlier. So I was not doing very good at all. That evening, I did get a little, a little bit, like, like, like this much, bit of humanity back in me. I was able to take a shower. They capped my IV, they got me all ready, got the shower room ready, I went down there, 
I was so sore, so tired, so weak, I had to sit down in the shower to take my shower. They had a little bench for me to sit on, but I was able to take a shower. It took me like 30 minutes to shower, and then like 10 minutes to dry off and get my hospital gowns back on, And but I felt like a human being again. Well, I spent the rest of the night attempting to sleep, getting up walking the halls, realizing that there's nothing on TV, walking the halls trying to sleep, vomiting every 30 to 60 minutes. I got probably an hour or two sleep if I was lucky that night. I was not doing good mentally, physically. I, yeah, that would sum it up. I was not doing good would be the nice, easy way to sum it up without getting into too much detail. Well. I will continue this story on my next video. I hope everyone out there is doing well and have a great day.